So, we have an equation, and we want to find a way to tell how much the equation is changing at a given point. So how do we accomplish this? Well, we know the change in a line is simply the slope of that line. So how about we start there? The equation for the slope of a line is the difference between two points on that line. The point x1, y1 is shown in the graph as x and f of x. And the point x2, y2 is shown on the graph as x plus h and f of x plus h. Let's plug those points into our slope equation. Now we cancel out the x's and organize things. But wait! We said at the beginning of this animation that we wanted the change at one and only one point. This slope equation gives us a change over the distance of h. A single point has zero distance. So we need to find the slope when the distance of h gets infinitely close to zero. We know how to do this. Let's take the limit as h goes to zero. And what we have is what is known as the derivative. Let's see what this looks like on our graph as we apply the limit. As you can see, the line touches our graph at only one point. The slope of this line is the rate at which the graph is changing at this point, which we call the derivative, or also commonly referred to as the rate of change. I want you to notice that the line touches the graph at only one point. This is what we call a tangent line. So now that we know where the derivative comes from, Let's look at applying it. I said at the beginning of this animation that we had a function, but I never specified what it was. For driving the equation for the derivative, it wasn't necessary, but for applying the equation, it is. The graph I have kind of looks like a parabola. So how about we center it at the origin and say our function is f of x equals x squared. So f of x equals x squared, and f of x plus h equals x plus h content squared. Understand that we have just been using x as a placeholder in our equations up until now. Whatever value you want to evaluate in your function, we substitute for x. Distributing x plus h content squared gives us x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. When we substitute that into our equation, it's easy to see that we can cancel out the x squared terms. Then, we can factor out an h, which we can then cancel with the h in the bottom of the equation. Now that we no longer have h in the denominator, we can apply the limit. We couldn't have done this before because we were saying h goes to zero, which would have made us divide by zero, which is not allowed. As it is, we're left with 2x. So we have found the derivative of x squared is 2x. We note this by putting an apostrophe between the function and the parentheses. This is often referred to as prime, or f prime of x in this case. If you were taking a second derivative, you'd put two apostrophes and any number greater than that, you just put the integer. And now you know the basics of the derivative.